All right, guys, Mr. Mice is here, and something that we will do in calculus is, the, again, we'll need to solve equations. So in a previous video, I talked about solving equations in the TI Inspire using the zero method and also using solve if you have the cast. But the second type of way we can find the inner, uh, the, well, sorry, and the second type of way we can solve an equation is the using the intersection method. Now, we know we do want to use the intersection method if we have an equation similar to this where we have a function with or like something with x on one side equals something with x on the other side so we're going to go and use the intersection method there in this case i have any i have an example solve for x sine of 2x plus 1 equals cosine of x minus 1 in the interval 0 to 2 pi and the steps for this is we're going to graph the e, we're going to graph each side of the equation as its separate function in the graphing tab and then we're going to use the intersection function and we're going to find out what the x value is okay so what I did here is I have a graphing tab and I've graphed sine of 2x plus 1 is in function 1 and cosine of x minus 1 in function 2 and what we're going to do here is we're going to zoom in and we're going to go ahead and hit menu zoom trig okay that gives us so now we know 6.28 that's 2 pi so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go window settings and I'm going to say my X min is going to be zero and my X max is just going to be uh, two pi, right? So I'm going to go and type two pi here and it looks like I can change my Y maxes. So we're going to go ahead and say this is uh uh, negative two, oops. negative two to two, and that should give me a. There we go. We've got a nice screen here. So now we've got uh, zero to two pi, and we're going to find our intersections all in that. So any time it intersects is going to be an answer for this problem in the interval from zero to two pi. Okay. So that is the closed interval, so 0 and 2 pi could work as answers, but obviously there's no intersection here at 0. And um, there might be an intersection at 2 pi. We're going to go and check that out. So here's how we do this. We're going to get menu, analyze graph, intersection. Okay, so now if you're using an 84, an 84 is going to ask you like, Function one, function two, well, we're bound. Upper, well, that you don't have to do that in an Inspire. So in Inspire, this works the same way as the zero. All you got to do is uh, go to the lower bound. It already knows. See up here, the intersection, the two functions is going to be the blue and the red one. So it already knows that there's two functions on here. Those are the only two we're going to use. So we're going to just go to the left of it, just like we do with zero. Click on it once hit and you can hit enter and then move it over and as soon as it goes over it we have our function there and remember we want three decimal places after the decimal so again if your calculator is not doing that you can get that by doing menu settings and then change here display digits to float four okay or float three should work but really it's going to be float you want to do float four or float five or whatever is going to get you the three decimal places depending on what the number is before the decimal place right okay so then we're going to do that again for each of these so right now i've got one answer 0 0.524 4, 0 0.524 is one answer so let me go and find the second answer here so analyze graph intersection again all we got to do is go to the left of the intersection which is right here click it and then right as we scroll over it comes up so then our next one is 2.618 and we've got what we've got one maybe two more well let's check that other one here so click on this side click on this side 4.712 remember we're only looking at the x values let's check this last one see what it turns out to be it's really close to 2 pi here i'm interested see what it is it's 5.854 so that is less than 2 pi because 2 pi would be uh, 6.28 
So 5.854 is a value. So in this case, for this equation, we have four, uh, four solutions in our interval from 0 to 2 pi. So we're going to want to make sure we put all four solutions between 0 and 2 pi. All right. So that is how we solve an equation using the intersection method. Catch you guys later.